Good day everyone, it's Rodney28 coming at you with the New York Times Games, World of Strength of Connections, as well as a custom connection solve from Brand DM, and an introduction of a custom connections puzzle from Ellen Sasani, E17. Alright, so let's get right into Wordle. Um, uh, the next word we'll be starting with as part of the clothing challenge in hard mode is uh, guise, which simply means a costume. It's like you're going in the guise of a, uh, a police officer. Um, if, if you're trying to like commit a robbery and you're trying to be disguised or wear a costume, that's your guise, right? So that's what that means. Uh, starting word for tomorrow will be burka. I know I'll forget to say it after I'm done here. So it's burka, B-U-R-K-A. But for guys, let's do it. Puzzle 1216, Tracy Bennett, what do you have for us today? And guys gets us, let's see, and hopefully everyone's having a great day. Guys gets us an E at the end. Okay, well, no ER trap. I still have trauma from that a couple of days ago. Um, could be Forte. Let's try Forte. Nope, bad. Oh. Sometimes getting nothing is okay, um, at times, within reason. Uh, we have snakes on the plane today. No, nope, that's not at all bad. Could we have, have, probably have. What else would work? I don't like A at the start. Apple's gone, so it can't be Apple. Let's try half. No way. <laughs> well, considering uh, the last two days where I had a five and a six, I'll take a four every day of the week. All right, yeah, so tomorrow's starting with Burka, B-U-R-K-A. I'll see you there. All right, let's get into strands for uh, October 17th. We have the puzzle by Shihara Ranasinghe. Edited by Tracy Bennett. Let's get into it. Dream teams. Ooh. Are these maybe different types of uh, mattresses? Uh, pieces of bedding like pillows and blankets and throws and shams and all that uh, good stuff. All the stuff I'm packing up to move with. <laughs> all right. Um, I don't know. I see an ING here, which is interesting. Mattress, is there an M? I think we might be barking up the wrong tree here. Hmm. Okay, let's just find anything then. Um, star, dream team, dream teams. Okay. Might wish upon a star. A waiver? Weavers? Okay, oh this is like fantasy sports. Okay, trade, where's trade? Draft, yeah okay, that's exact, okay. Yeah, draft, okay. Um, fantasy sports, fantasy league. All right, uh, your roster, your standing standings okay and then your matchup your weekly matchup matchups okay cool that uh, worked well for me I'm very familiar with fantasy sports all right let's move on to connections October 17th, Winnaloo, puzzle 494. What do you have for us today? Park, car, Harvard, yard, address, green, jaw, lemon, natural, criminal, field, swinger, handle, good fella, answer, and lawn. Well, park, green, field, and lawn, and yard are all areas of uh, open expanse of grass. One of those doesn't belong. The question is which one? Okay. Uh, 
Harvard is interesting. Lemon. Uh, a lemon is a word for like a really not so great car. Natural. A field, a yard. Answer. Swinger. Swinger's interesting too. Swinger. Swingers, good fellas. Jaws. What's the last one? Something ends with S. Parks. Oh, cars. Cars, the uh, one with Lightning McQueen. Are these movies minus the S? I'm gonna try it. And that'll take, uh, well, it doesn't take any way in the, uh, the big, expansive, grassy areas. But I feel good about this. It's the naturals, I think. Yeah, these are uh, movies minus the S. Yeah, okay, that's that's good. Doesn't really help, like I said, with the grassy areas, but uh, it's a start. Handle. You handle a question, you feel the question, you address a question, you answer a question. This is to manage uh, a request, I guess, question. Manage a question, manage a request. Deal with, yeah. Um, that leaves park, yard, lawn, and green. As uh, big grassy areas. Yeah. And then natural, criminal, lemon, and Harvard. Hmm. Criminal, natural, natural, well, there's lemongrass, but I don't think we're double dipping with that. Harvard law, natural law, criminal law, lemon law, and Harvard law. I've done enough crosswords to know lemon law. Um, I think it has something to do with selling somebody something that's uh, not great. Um, it's, it's just being honest, I suppose. Um, yeah, anyways, uh, this is blank law. Absolutely, that was as good as it can be considering I was on edge. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the movies might be tough. Uh, the blue category is the key to the whole thing, of course. But then you're left with these, uh, uh, you know, the, the grassy areas, and the blue doesn't help with that. So there might be some uh, fails today. There might be some people like one or two errors, but I can't see it being that difficult. Um, I'm recording this on Sunday night, so uh, there's no way of me knowing how people have already done. I'm trying to get ahead before I move. Anyways, enough about me. Let's uh, go to the custom stuff. I'll see you there. All right, everyone, we're back with uh, Randy M's uh, Randolfo 8 puzzle. Go over the words one more time. The link to this is in the description. So uh, give it a go if you haven't, um, before I started doing it, right? All right, so we have memory, fraternity, chowda, alphabet, ramen, monogram, pen pal, preface, mystic, dawn, bisque, morning, Ouija board, minestrone, Genesis and initial. Okay. Well, I definitely see some uh, some soups in here. Um, chowder, chowder, alphabet, bisque, minestrone, and uh, ramen, I guess. So there's five. That's overpopulated. A 
I see some uh, some starting words like uh, like uh, dawn, it's like the the morning, the start of the day. Genesis is the start of life, I guess. Like in the Bible, Genesis is first. Uh, initial is the start. Uh, a preface is the start of a book or a paper. And morning, I guess. Morning is the start of a day too. Might be the first thing you say to somebody is morning. Okay. So we're left with memory, fraternity, monogram, pen pal, mystic, and Ouija board. Okay. Well, I don't see any obvious connection between whatever the six that are left here. So those might be. Uh, Bit of trial and error, I think. How do I crack into this? <laughs> okay. This could be a long one. Buckle up. <laughs> All right. Okay, so let's forget about the soups for now. So what that I've left over, memory, mystic, Ouija, monogram, fraternity, and pen pal. Okay, so how do I figure these out? I also need to consider the words that are not highlighted. Ouija board, monogram, pen pal. Okay, so Ouija boards, food. that's something you use, um, it's kind of mystical I suppose, but I don't see anything beyond Ouija board and mystic as far as, uh, you know, the afterlife or anything like that. So maybe I'll look at some wordplay here. Ouija boards have letters and numbers, I suppose. Um, just, I don't know. If we're not talking about how to use it, we're just talking about the board itself, right? We're not talking about the process. We're just talking about the board itself. So Ouija boards have letters and numbers. I guess a fraternity has some letters, um, like Alpha Phi and all that kind of stuff. Gamma, Alpha Gamma, you know, Beta, stuff like that. Uh, monogram, I guess, has letters. Your, your monogram, your Initials, I guess. A pen pal. A pen pal, I guess you'd write a letter to the pen pal. Whether it's an email or a handwritten letter, I guess. That's kind of shaky, though. Don't know how I feel about that. Okay, well, let's keep that highlighted for now. Letter related, I guess. I don't know. Um, so we still have all these soups. We have dawn, Genesis, initial, morning, and preface. So that leaves mystic and memory to go together. Mystic and memory. 
Okay, well, memory starts with M-E, mystic starts with M-Y, B and my, mine, and I. Oh, okay. Randy M, geez. That's something else. So that goes sort of Monastroni, so we have Chowder, Memory Mystic, Monastroni and Initial, and then Dawn Genesis, Morning and Preface. Alright, I think I've I think I've got there. That's tough. That's really tough. Jeez. Alright, well, let's uh, test our theory here. Uh, let's just go with the gray stuff first. It's probably purple. Could be the uh, me, my, mine, and I stuff too. Like possessive uh, pronouns, I guess. Different, uh, or, yeah, possessive. Uh, yeah, just pronouns, I guess. Okay. Um, all right, related to letters, I guess. Things that have letters. It's green, but that was purple. That was obscure. All right, uh, morning, dawn, uh, preface, and genesis. This is like the beginning. The beginning, okay. Uh, mystic, memory, I, and, or initial, and minestrone. This is uh, possessive pronouns, I guess. Where does that begin with first person singular pronouns? Okay. And then chowder, alphabet, ramen, and bisque are soups. Types of soups. All right, well, I'm exhausted. <laughs> that was mentally draining. Awesome puzzle there, Randy M. Uh, like I said, we're five of seven, done your uh, big list you sent me. I will leave it here until I have uh, an introduction with somebody else. That's not me. Um, so yeah, see you in a second. Hey everybody, I finally got some new puzzles by email. So. Uh, here we go. Uh, so e, Ellen sent me E17 and E18 at the same time. So you'll see Ellen again uh, pretty soon anyways. But uh, for today we have duck, canary, cockatiel, eagle, parakeet, turkey, starling, falcon, goose, parrot, chicken, crow, blackbird, hawk, raven, and owl. All right, hopefully you enjoyed all the uh, puzzles today. Uh, click like if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't, tell your friends. Uh, the links for all the puzzles will be in the description. Uh, if you'd like to send me a puzzle, it's uh, it'll be in the description too. Just uh, fire me off an email, and say who you are, or you know, write me a little little message, and I'll put it in the queue for you to uh, show up on the channel as a guest uh, puzzle creator. All right, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.